think I'd see this again. Why don't you hang on to that? Thanks for tuning in for another brand new video and right now we are checking out the second jewelry item that I purchased from Toy Ink Toys. The first one being the one just before this for the Aquaman Maori pendant. This time we are transitioning to the world of Star Wars with a Star Wars necklace and the box is pretty big, you know it just says Star Wars but this is in fact a if this wants to show well a Mandalorian necklace. I already took it out a little bit but here is the here is the necklace itself, the Mythosaur Mandalorian pendant that we have seen throughout the entire Star Wars franchise. Really, we've seen this design and logo quite a bit, and we really saw the necklace in the Mandalorian series on Disney Plus. Just like with the Aquaman pendant, it does come in just a simple box like this. Except this one is all black and generic. There's no Mandalorian logo or anything like that. And I don't remember if this one came with a certificate of authenticity. I don't believe so. No, there's nothing in there. So it is just an empty box, which is fine. Everything on the box says Disney and Star Wars. And I think it says Toy Ink. It does not. It sells Sales 1 LLC, but it is from Toy Ink. And just like the Aquaman necklace, I will put a link to it in the description below. There is the necklace itself. And for this video, let me go ahead and wear it first just so you can see it on me. I hope this fits my big head. If not, I might have to tool around with putting it. Nope. All right, let's see if it's going to fit my <laughs> head. And if not, I might have to buy an extension. Not able to tie it because it's so tight, but if I'm just holding it right there, the necklace sits right at my sternum again, a little bit higher than the Aquaman pendant, which is fine. I might, well, I will need to get a little extension to be able to just put the necklace on over my head or at least some bigger hooks because as you can see here, just how small, if this will focus, come on, focus, focus. All right, I'll, when I turn the camera around, I'll be able to focus it. But yeah, it's uh, pretty tight to be able to, and actually the hook doesn't open that wide, so I can't really hook it in from the back of my head. But let's go ahead and get a closer look at the Mandalorian pendant. All right, so here is the pendant up close, and right away, the detail on this is incredible. I love it. And again, just like the Aquaman pendant, and especially being metal, this one has a good weight to it, and the chain is a lot sturdier. Then the other one is his actual um, a metal link chain or chain link uh, chain, I guess. I'm not sure how to call it, but it is pretty sturdy and it will stay on no matter what. This one has a nice, not it's not really shiny, but I love the chrome finish to it or the gunmetal finish. I should say it's not quite chrome, but you can see they put some nice weathering on it. So it does have a lot of dark streaks to it and brush strokes all around it. And I love the tusks right here, how they're different. So they're not going to be um, similar and, you know, lateral right across, right down the middle. They are going to have some nice features to it and character to it as well. Even the eyes and the nose, everything has its own little design to it and some cracks in the skull. Everything has its own texture, which is amazing to it. And it has a nice smooth finish all around also. And you can feel the holes in the eyes and the nose and the grooves on the teeth right there. Some more textures right there on the side of the skull. And it just looks so authentic and so real. I mean, this thing is pretty incredible. I'm really happy with this piece, It turned how it turned out. I will say one interesting thing on the back. It is hollow, which of course we don't see the back of the necklace in the show, but I'm just curious if the prop itself is hollow like this or if it's flat or if it's full or just how heavy it actually is. I'm not really concerned about it because again, you're not gonna be seeing the back, but it's just more of a curiosity to see how the actual prop or in the Star Wars world, what the actual Mythosaur skull um, necklace looks like from all angles. Even on the back of the tusks, you can see some lines and design right there. I think one tusk is even bigger than the other one, which adds even more character to it, and I love that. And let me get a quick look at the chain connection right here. 
So you can already see how tight or how small the hook is. And then when you unlatch this part, it is pretty hard to take it off to begin with because it's so tight. And you can imagine without being able to see it, just trying to get this back in, it isn't that easy. I'm sure there's a trick to it, but I need it a little bit longer anyway. So I'll get an extension to get this back together. And I've been looking in the camera, so I got to look off camera to be able to hook this on if I can get it hooked on there we go okay so you see the struggle even when I'm looking directly at it and I don't think I know the Aquaman pendant had the trademark on the back I don't see any trademark here there it is it's right on the middle so you know it's an authentic piece also and this one does say Lucasfilm doesn't have the Disney trademark, which is fine by me, but you know, Disney, they want to slap on their trademark and everything. And this can also be a pretty old necklace. I don't remember or recall ever seeing a Mandalorian necklace out on the market, an officially licensed necklace, I should say. So this could be an old piece. It could be brand new. Maybe they just wanted, Disney didn't need their trademark on it because Lucasfilm is still technically Star Wars. And I think the back had Lucasfilm on it too, did it? Yeah, it was Lucasfilm, Disney, so... But yeah, that is about it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. But yeah, just an incredible piece for any Star Wars fan to add to their jewelry collection or just their collection in general. Super happy with this one. And I hope I wasn't sounding too negative in the Aquaman review, but I was happy with that. And I think Toy Inc. does provide a tremendous and a great service and both in customer service and quality and also availability of prop replicas and just collectibles in general so be sure to check them out and yeah if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video review